Caritas is a consortium of seven European national societies under the lead of the International Federation of the Red Cross and Red Cross and Societies as contract holder with uh, the European Commission, DG Employment, through its uh, program for employment and social innovation. This project seeks in particular to provide asylum seekers and refugees a better awareness and understanding of the whole social cultural context as well as better access to employment and social services. Throughout the project, the Spanish Red Cross provides technical support and guidance to the seven local branches of the Red Cross that are implementing the projects at local level, implementing a common working model in all these seven locations. First, we do an interview with them. Uh, our project officers do an interview with the, with the person and see what are their wishes, what, are their, uh, what is their education, uh, what is their potential, and so on. So they, they make a plan and then we follow up the, that plan. When this, the, plan is, uh, the plan is constructed, the, when we see what, what is a person's education, what are his or her experiences, skills and so forth, uh, and their wishes of course, um, then we see what we can offer them inside of the project and also broader, so through referral to other organizations, institutions and so on. What I think is really uh, uh, added value of the project is that we can dedicate uh, our time to each person individually and really support them in different aspects. We tried to get as many women as possible into the project because we saw uh, that there are many difficulties for women uh, who come to Austria um, and they need special help. Most of them uh, are coming from uh, Syria and Afghanistan, that's the, the main part, but they are also coming from uh, countries northern from Africa, um, and the other countries from Middle East. We have gender workshops, for example, for them, but they also uh, like um, CV training. Um, they uh, are very glad to join in communication trainings. Uh, they love empowerment workshops. I come from the Iraq, and I am 32 years old. Ich, seit, ich bin seit vier Jahren in Österreich und seit September ich habe ich deutsche Kurs gemacht beim ESRAS A2 und jetzt besuche ich B2, B1. Entschuldigung. Und ich habe auch in meiner Heimat alles Biologie studiert und ich wurde Lieber äh, in Österreich auch Ausbildung als Assistentin äh, machen, oder? Ja, es gefällt mir sehr schön. Wir treffen uns und wir reden äh, Deutsch über und wir auch äh, machen Übungen und Grammatik. So they feel very, very comfortable as a woman and so they can, they can develop and they can empower their self and we can give them also this know-how so they can, they can use these things um, uh, for, for, uh, for integration in labor market in host country in Austria. We start the French courses because this is one of uh, the most important things if you want to find a job in France. And in the same time, we are working a lot in uh, social cultural inclusion and we are lo working a lot on the uh, professional trainings. We try to explain the market in France. There are not many possibilities for them to learn German uh, language, for example. Um, and we give them the, the chance um, to educate themselves and finally to get a, a paid job here in Austria. We are working on both sides, social, cultural integration and professional integration. 
we help them to uh, to write to make the CVs, motivational letters. Very often we are going to to see uh, some uh, partners, stakeholders. They accept to to present uh, in the uh, center of uh, training, professional training, if they have good level of French language. I like working with volunteers and I have a lot of volunteers. When they come here, I'm sure that they will be uh, very, very useful for, for everybody, for the refugees, for them is the new experience. I just realized that we have really, we really have to do something with them and to help them and uh, and start to to live with them because it's important for the future for them and for us. I think it's the really the best experience in my life. Well, I'm young, but <laughs> for the moment it's the best because I. I I talk with a lot of but a lot of people, and everybody has something to to give me, and I, and I have something to give us to everybody. So it's a mutual exchange every time, all the time. In the beginning, it it was difficult, but now we have a lot of partners, so we are able to propose first uh, internship just to see how does it work uh, and after uh, we have um, a lot of them with the contract job contract parce qu'il est toujours intéressant de pouvoir avoir de bons collaborateurs et un bon collaborateur peut venir de tous les pays du monde la Croix-Rouge française est quand même une institution pour nous que nous connaissons, avec des, des personnes qui au départ se sont présentées chez nous pour pouvoir faire un stage. Et c'est ce qui nous a amené à avoir une collaboration avec la Croix-Rouge française pour, pour pouvoir aider certaines personnes, dont des réfugiés, à travailler chez nous. Mais aussi, on, nous avons vu qu'il y avait une certaine qualité de, de, de stagiaires qui venaient postuler chez nous et de, vraiment une envie de ces stagiaires de pouvoir évoluer, de se tester aussi dans leur travail. Certaines personnes pouvaient voir s'ils avaient vraiment envie d'évoluer et de continuer à travailler dans la branche qu'ils espéraient ou qu'ils souhaitaient. Je suis un farmer. Je ne sais pas beaucoup de la ville. Quand je suis venu ici, je ne sais pas la nouvelle langue que j'ai appris dans la Croix-Rouge. J'ai appris, j'ai regardé les leçons de français. Et maintenant, je peux bien. Avant de venir à Israël, je ne suis pas très confiant sur ma vie. I was nothing, but after I joined Iziras, Project Iziras, Quarush, they helped me a lot and they find a job for me. Right now, I am so happy I have a job and I am so confident on my life. We do a lot of collaboration with Public Employment Service here in Slovenia. This, uh, was, uh, this was established as a very good uh, relationship and very good cooperation. Uh, so through them we do a lot of um, interviews for uh, employment. We support public employment service with providing of our uh, provision of our culture mediators for support of classes uh, with our volunteers and so forth. So they organize the whole the whole thing uh, because they have a very good system. For the participants, of course, I mean I think it's great that they have more opportunities where they can find support. Uh, especially when they are entering labor market, when they are searching for job. As I said, we help them a lot, but this is probably not the only thing to, to be successful. And it's great that they have an, uh, another organization uh, who gives them support. Uh, but as I said, the biggest uh, obstacle that you are facing is the language barrier. And uh, if we have organizations to provide interpreters and translators, that is great, and we uh, cooperate with all of them. If we want to offer a holistic uh, approach, a uh, holistic support to our beneficiaries, there are a lot of organizations and a lot of institutions involved. Uh, it's not a one-man band. Uh, it's, a, yeah, it's a big band that needs to work together and be harmonious to support people in the best way possible.
National societies implementing the project have reinforced the skills and knowledge of their staff and have also enlarged their connections, networks and synergies with local stakeholders. On the other side, participants uh, feel that uh, ESIRAS has provided to them a new opportunity to look at the future with uh, an optimistic eyes. They know that we are doing uh, the best job we can and that we will continue to do this. And also they have the feeling that they are not alone. It's very useful for French society. We accepted them here, so we have to take care about it the person know that they have the potential themselves to, to recognize their own potential, to feel encouraged, to, to feel empowered and uh, to know that uh, he or she can be a part of this society on their own. So in Syria, uh, I have in uh, Medizinische Institut uh, studiert in Fachrichtung Anesthesie und I have acht Jahre in uh, Krankenhaus gearbeitet. Ich habe dort verheiratet und als das, äh, also der Krieg begonnen äh, hat, also, äh, flüchtete ich nach, äh, nach Österreich. Als ich mich beworben habe, äh, ich war begeistert und gespannt, mit, also, mit Rotenkreuz zu arbeiten und besonders Blutspendedienst, weil es eine, eine Verwandt von meiner Ausbildung ist. Äh, jetzt also, fühle ich mich sehr wohl. Ich bin immer begeistert und also mit äh, netten und freundlichen Arbeitskollegen. Äh, ich mache also immer gerne Arbeiten. Pascha ist is a, a very helpful uh, man uh, at the Blood Donation Service. Um, our colleagues in the team uh, likes him uh, and he can uh, get the chance to, to work here in Austria uh, for more longer and also he can work here maybe at the Blood Donation Service at the Red Cross. I, as a, as a social worker, I can say I'm very, very proud of a lot of my clients because now I can, I can be, um, uh, I'm, I'm sure that uh, now they have these tools, these know-how to integrate into the labor market in Austria. We are really satisfied. Uh, the results here in the Zeros project are, are great. The Zeros project is well known, meanwhile, in, in Austria, here in Styria, and other organizations are forwarding interested people to us. Uh, we brought many, many of our participants into a paid job or further education. The CIRAS project uh, outcomes uh, have been overpassed because initially we didn't set the insertion of refugees and asylum seekers in the labour market because of the difficulties that this uh, objective and goal presents and also because of the short period of the project. But uh, we are very happy to say that by June uh, 30th, uh, almost 130 SIRAS participants have found a job. This is such a beautiful job because every day, literally every day, I get the feeling that I did something useful, you know. I think that for young people it's really good because it's our future. We, we know that the immigration will, will not stop and it's a good thing for the economy, for everything, for the mentality of people. We know that Refugees are not bad people, and it's our future. There are people like us, and they deserve uh, they deserve a life 